the sages knowing me as the ultimate purpose of all sacrifices and austerities the supreme lord of all planets and demigods and the benefactor and well-wisher of all living entities attain peace from the pangs of material miseries purport by shila prabhupad ki purport the conditioned soul within the clutches of illusory energy are all anxious to attain peace in the material world but they do not know the formula for peace which is explained in this part of bhagavad gita the greatest peace formula is simply this lord krishna is the beneficiary in all human activities men should offer everything to the transcendental service of the lord because he is a proprietor of all planets and the demigods thereon no one is greater than he he is the greater than the greatest of the demigods lord shiva and lord brahma in the vedas the lord supreme lord is described as tamishwaranam panamam maheshwaram under the spell of illusion living entities are trying to be lord of all they serve but actually they are dominated by the material energy of the lord the lord is a master of material nature the conditioned soul are all are under stringent rules of material nature unless one understands these bare facts it is not possible to achieve peace in this world either individually or collectively this is the sense of krishna consciousness Lord Krishna is a supreme predominator and all the living entities including the great demigods are his subordinates one can attain perfect peace only in complete krishna consciousness this fifth chapter is a practical explanation of krishna consciousness generally known as karma yoga the question of mental speculation as to how karma yoga can give liberation is answered here with to work in krishna consciousness is to work with the complete knowledge of the lord as a predominator such work is not different from transcendental knowledge direct krishna consciousness is bhakti yoga and gyana yoga is a path leading to bhakti yoga krishna consciousness means to work in full knowledge of one's relationship with the supreme absolute and the perfection of this consciousness is full knowledge of krishna or the supreme personality of godhead a pure soul is the eternal servant of god as his fragmental part and parcel he comes into contact with maya illusion due to desire to lord it over maya and that is a cause of his many sufferings as long as he is in contact with matter he has to execute work in terms of material necessities krishna consciousness however bring one into spiritual life even while one is within the jurisdiction of matter krishna consciousness as long as he is in contact with matter he has to execute work in terms of material necessities krishna consciousness however brings one into spiritual life even while one in one is within the jurisdiction of matter for it is an arousing of spiritual existence by practice in the material world the more one is advanced the more he is freed from the clutches of matter the lord is not partial toward anyone everything depend depends on one's practical performance of duties in an effort to control the senses and conquer the influence of desire and anger in attaining krishna consciousness by controlling the above mentioned passion one remain factually in the transcendental stage or brahman nirvana the eightfold yoga mysticism is automatically practiced in krishna consciousness because the ultimate purpose is served there is a gradual process of elevation in the practice of yama niyama asana pratyahara dhyana 
dharana pranayama and samadhi but these only pre- preface perfection by devotional service which alone can award peace to the human being it is the highest perfection of life so beautiful purport by shila propa then a very tra- wonderful explanation is been given about this verse so here krishna is basically giving us the peace formula because in our life we always are looking for achieving peace from the suffering which we constantly undergo so if you see this entire fifth chapter has divided has been divided into many sections in the first section what we understood is how simply by karma yoga simply by performing activities in krishna consciousness we can achieve supreme destination and it is far better than sanyas so then we also understood how should we perform karma yoga in this chapter we also understood performing karma yoga means we have to be detached from the action and fruits so we should be detached from the fruits and we should directly do activity for krishna's pleasure that becomes part of karma yoga then also we understood from 18th verse to 26th verse how enlightened being and liberated souls act in this material world or how do they behave what all different parameters we can judge them that we can say yes he is liberated and he is still contaminated by this material world so now having under having explained all those different aspects of karma yoga krishna finally is concluding this chapter by this verse and this verse can also be said as a peace formula which is given in bhagavad gita so what is this peace formula which is given by krishna in the bhagavad gita so to be able to appreciate that first of all we have to understand the pain formula the pain formula which we are all undergoing in this in our different situations so what happens in our life we have a certain expectation from our life from people from different situation and from so many other things which we deal in material world so basically if we see uh we expect things to go our own way we always feel that you know whatever happens in my life should happen according to my wish and fancy whatever i desire should be given to me whatever i need should be present in front of me or whatever kind of you know things i expect from my life it should always be there but what happens sometimes although we may expect we may have very uh utopian understanding of life or very idealistic uh purview that whatever i i want it will be given to me but things doesn't happen that way sometime things just go out of our control and we end up being or more and more miserable so when thing does not go the way we think is a situation which is very painful to experience let's say you wanted to do you had a certain plans for your 15 years okay now you will do education after that you will work after that you will get married after that you will have you will raise yourself to different higher position in the corporate world then you will start business so there may be so many hundreds of desire we may have but life has its own course of flow which it wants to take us through so we have our own flow of life and life will force us to have different flow according to our destiny according to our karma so then what happens we become very very depressed very frustrated from life why this is happening to me so then in many other cases we also expect at least people to behave the way we want we comes in dif- different kind of relationship or we work under somebody or we somebody works under us or we have we become husband we become maybe mother father or whatever different you know position as a in a relationship what what we have what we may have we always expect that people should behave according to what i i want 
my husband should behave in a perfect way my wife should behave like a perfect wife my children should behave like a perfect children my servant should behave like a perfect servant but although we may have all these expectation and we may try to control them according to our own desire but things does not turn out that same way people will have their own tantrums people will have their own problems people will have their own weaknesses people will have their own different unique situation which may which may not match with our expectation so we will see sometimes although we want people to people to behave in a certain way but they may not sometime so when expectation breaks we experience again pain we experience very uncomfortable uh, situation so like this when we try to control people when we try to control situation when we try to control uh, the flow of my life so all these are the roots of pain what we experience in our life so basically uh, how do we experience ourselves when we go through these different challenges we experience ourselves to be powerless oh i do not have any power over a situation i do not have any power over this person i i am so powerless so this sense of powerlessness makes us go through different kinds of pain even though we may also feel i do not have any power over this body because we want this body to be very healthy and healthy but according to our own karma it will have a different different kind of disease different kind of situation which may not be so palatable sometime so we may feel a sense of powerlessness toward this body so when we feel a sense of powerlessness toward this body then we experience pain so that is known as pain formula so if somebody ask what is a pain formula the pain formula is to expect the way the things to go your way we say no my way highway it, it should happen the way i want that is a pain formula so then what is a peace formula what krishna is giving in this verse krishna is giving very simple peace formula krishna says bhoktaram yaga tapsam sarva loka maheshwaram suhrut sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim rachati so first thing what we have to understand from this verse that krishna says sarva loka maheshwaram sarva loka means entire planetary system each and every being of this world each and every body of this world each and every city each and every state each and every country each and every planet everything is owned by krishna he says sarva loka maheshwaram sarva loka maheshwaram basically he is a maheshwara of all the lokas this is the first thing we have to keep very deeply in our mind so the situation what i am trying to lord over the situation what i am trying to control krishna is maheshwar of that of that also and the person whom i am thinking should behave my way he is also under control of prakriti and prakriti is under control of krishna so krishna is directly or indirectly controlling everything what we want to control as a small ishwara i want to control something and when i not when i cannot i feel a sense of powerlessness so the opposite should be that is happening because everything is owned by krishna then the second aspect what krishna explains since krishna owns everything so then whatever activity we perform in this material world should be only for his pleasure not for my pleasure even my own body belongs to krishna even others body belongs to krishna and whatever manipulation of the matter i may do and i may produce some material results or material success that also belongs to krishna so when we have this frame of mind that everything including me belongs to krishna that becomes second step and the third step is since everything belongs to krishna and everything is happening according to krishna's will 
सो द ओनली फ्रेंड विच वी मे हैव एंड द ओनली फ्रेंड विच अदर पीपल मे हैव इज ओनली कृष्णा ही सेस सुहृद सर्वभूता नाम सुहृद मीन्स ही इज अ वेल विशर ही इज द गाइडर ही इज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ एवरी लिविंग एंटिटी समटाइम वॉट हैपन्स वी ऑल्सो फील पेन वेन अदर पीपल गोज थ्रू पेन वी फील ओ आई एम नॉट एबल टू हेल्प दैट पर्सन आई एम सो इनकेपेबल दैट इवन दो आई वॉन्ट टू हेल्प दिस गाय बट I have some kind of inability. I want to help the entire world who are suffering from hunger, who are suffering from so many kind of ailments, who are suffering from so many other kind of diseases. I want to help everybody, but I cannot help. I want to help my own parents. I want to help my own son to grow up, but I cannot help them. So again, a feeling of helplessness. So it should be, the feeling should be, I cannot help anybody because. Krishna is a real well-wisher of everybody. I cannot be well-wisher of everybody because nothing belongs to me. Everything belongs to Krishna and since everybody belongs to Krishna, everything belong to Krishna. That is why he can be only real well-wisher of everybody. And even though we may try to become well-wisher of other living entity, we can only become well-wisher for some time span. Maybe 5 years, 10 years or maximum for this lifetime. if we want to become well wisher of our children's or wife or whomever or husband for that matter so but we can become well wisher only for this lifetime but who is there well wisher lifetime after lifetime so krishna says i am the one who is sitting in everybody's heart as paramatma and i make sure that every living entity gets their own dues so in that sense krishna becomes the real well wisher because he knows living entity from the past and he will continue to companion com- continue to show companion be companion of all of us in all different other life times also so in different ways krishna keeps showing us path krishna keeps showing <coughs> his compassion upon us we want to understand something we want to understand about life we become so disgusted from this life sometimes and we understand from bhagavad gita and what is bhagavad gita bhagavad gita is a compassion mercy of compassion manifestation of krishna krishna came to this world gave the gave us this knowledge of bhagavad gita so that in the future all of us can take advantage of it so this is a great compassion of krishna that he has left behind all those great literatures so in that way krishna is the proprietor of everything krishna is a beneficiary of all the activity and since he is the beneficiary of all the activity since he is the proprietor of everything he only can be the real well wisher of everybody so if we come to this alignment if we come to this understanding so then only we can be peaceful otherwise we will keep following the pain formula what is pain formula and what is peace formula and how do we shift from pain formula to peace formula the only difference between the pain formula and peace formula is a is only one fold if you just ask me prabhu ji i want to go from pain formula to peace formula now what should i do the only thing which krishna says here is and propada also explains explains in the purport is that in pain formula we want to be controller of everything and in peace formula we have to accept krishna's controllership so when we move from the frame of mind from being controller of people of situation of pos- of possession of and everything move to that everything is controlled by krishna even my own breath i am able to breathe today is also controlled by krishna even the movement of my eyelids is controlled by krishna even the pumping of my heart is controlled by krishna even the functioning of my digestive system is controlled by krishna practically each and everything which we need to exist is controlled by krishna so unless we come with this term that i am not controller i am controlled by krishna 
ఐ ఎమ్ ప్రీ డోమినేటెడ్ అండ్ కృష్ణ ఈజ్ అ ప్రీ డోమినేటర్ కృష్ణ ఈజ్ అ కంట్రోలర్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ అ కంట్రోల్డ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీబడీ ఇస్ కంట్రోల్డ్ బై కృష్ణ ఇదే డైరెక్ట్లీ బై బీయింగ్ ఇన్ డివోషన్ సర్వీస్ ఓర్ ఇన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ బై బీయింగ్ కంట్రోల్డ్ బై హీస్ ఎనర్జీ ఇస్ట్రింజెంట్ లో ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్ నేచర్ ఐ మే సే ఐ డోంట్ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ కృష్ణ ఐ డోంట్ సీ కృష్ణస్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ బట్ దెర్ ఆర్ లోస్ ఆఫ్ నేచర్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఫోర్సింగ్ అస్ టు బికమ్ డిజీజ్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఫోర్సింగ్ అస్ టు బికమ్ ఓల్డ్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఫోర్సింగ్ అస్ టు టేక్ అవే ఎట్ డిఫరెంట్ టైమ్స్ అవర్ ఓన్ పొజెషన్స్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ రీజన్స్ రీజన్ మే బీ మెనీ బట్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ బీ ఫోర్స్ బిహైండ్ ఇట్ విచ్ ఈస్ కృష్ణాస్ ఫోర్స్ సో అన్లెస్ సో బట్ దట్ డస్ నాట్ మీన్ ఓకే కృష్ణ ఇస్ కంట్రోలర్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ కంట్రోల్డ్ this does not mean that i am weak so a person may feel oh it is a very negative understanding or i should not i should not feel like this because ultimately i want to feel positive it is so depressing to feel that krishna is the only controller i am the controlled and these kind of things so but no so when we agree to become controlled by krishna and we don't try to control anybody it does not mean i am weak it simply means i want to be sheltered by strongest personality and the strongest personality is krishna sarva loka meshwaram is the most powerful so when i when i voluntarily agree to take shelter of krishna it does not mean you no know, i am weak or something like that but i want to be protected by him so we have to accept our you know vulnerable situation but that does not again mean we are coward we don't want to fight against it it simply means that i agree what krishna wants me to do and what krishna's plans are i just want to go along with that so unless we come to this term till that point of time there will be tinges of pain in different shades again there may be a uh, we have we may have to move from this controller tendency to the controlled tendency it takes time slowly slowly by you know by develop by a gradual development in our consciousness which happens through chanting hari krishna maha mantra which happens by reading propad books which happens by doing devotion service practical devotion service we slowly slowly start coming in te- that terms because we have a heavy ego our ego will never allow to feel like this our ego will always want to be controller we have a huge big thick ego in our system so the dissolution of ego is very important and the dissolution of ego happens by performing these powerful activities and then when the false ego get dissolved real ego sprouts up and the real ego is am controlled by krishna so we ultimately what we have to do is we have to remove all the egoic perspective perspective of life false egoic perspective of life then move to real egoic perspective of life so we know so many past times even for that matter prahlad maharaj if we take example of prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj was always at peace all although his own father was his enemy his father hiranyakashipu was such a great demon and just by the movement of his eyebrows big big demigods used to shake and the parlar maharaj is small baby five year old son of hiranyakashipu and now hiranyakashipu himself has become enemy of parlar maharaj so what kind of terror would be in the heart of parlar maharaj from his father and in different ways hiranyakashipu tried killing parlar maharaj throwing away from the mountains putting in the pit of snakes put them under the you know feet of elephant and you know even we know holika past time try to burn prahlad maharaj by keeping her by keeping him in the lap, lap of holika but in all situation prahlad maharaj remained fearless and he was completely at peace in his heart and not even scratch happened to him by krishna's grace because he was in his heart deep within his heart he knew that my father is not under control he may show some momentarily controllership but ultimately krishna is in control anything is happening to me is because of krishna and krishna will protect me so you see the deep within so if he would have thought that i am the controller and i am not able to control 
so so you know miserable his situation would have been but instead he was completely at peace that fearfulness was never shown by prahlad maharaj because he knew deep within him that what is the reality of life he was a pure devotee so prahlad's peace can also be understood although he was in a turbulent situation based upon this formula of being controlled not being controller and as you discussed last time that you know the higher perspective of life why i am suffering and so you would see the whole situation where i, I feel pain where i feel a sense of hurt is all where we try to be controller of people controller of situation controller of my life and everything so if we gradually shift our consciousness to be controlled and to agree to follow krishna's guidance then we would see our life although we may go through lot of up and downs in our life but deep within us will be completely peaceful so with the with this few words we'll conclude here if anybody have any doubt any questions may